Hello there and welcome to SnackTube. I was in Ikea recently and um, I really wanted to get one of those big bags full of the tiny little dime bars, but I didn't have any. I was well gutted. So I'm glad that before that I had popped into B&M and picked up these little beauties because I think they're probably going to be pretty nice. This is Dime Caramel Latte. Limited edition. So... It's a dime with a sort of coffee flavour to it, I guess. Um, and I, I picked these up with the express um, idea that I was going to review them for you guys. I was still going to go to Ikea and get a big bag of the dimes because I wasn't going to review them. They're just dime bars. Um, there's nothing to really tell about them, but they're delicious. I love dime bars and uh, putting a bit of flavour in there. Uh, interesting. I've had mint ones before. I don't think I've reviewed them on the channel, but I have had mint dimes before and they were... Weird. <laughs> there were dime bars and they sort of just tasted a bit minty. Uh, so I'm hoping this is this is nice. I like I like coffee flavored things. I'm not really much of a coffee drinker. Um, I'll maybe get a Starbucks or a Costa if I just happen to be in one. Which isn't very often at all, really. Um, I don't really drink coffee in the house, but I'm more of a tea guy. But I do like coffee flavored things like Revels, the coffee Revel that you get. That's like my favorite one. I, I'm. I really wish you could get a big bag of just the coffee Rebels. Um, maybe I can get some sort of a knockoff one. I'll need to look because that, that is my favourite Revel, the coffee one. A lot of people think I'm nuts for that, but whatever. Coffee flavoured stuff is really nice, um, despite me not really being a big coffee drinker. Um, I don't want to be addicted to caffeine. No, let me just, I'll just stick to this stuff, you know, the Iron Brew. Yes, I'm joking. I'm very well aware that Iron Brew, Coca-Cola, all that stuff is highly... Caffeinated, so I probably I probably drink as much caffeine in a day as a a, co a coffee drinker does. To be honest, I probably drink too much iron brew. It's a bit weird that when I'm away for a couple of days in like England or somewhere and I can't have iron brew, that I start to get real jonesing for it. But anyway, uh, so we've got dime dime caramel latte, so limited edition. This is a three pack, so there's three in here. So let's have a wee look and. Read about it, see what it says. Uh, so there, yeah, you've got your description. It's coffee-flavoured milk chocolate with a crunchy almond caramel centre. Um, so the coffee is in the chocolate rather than in the, the bit in the middle, the caramel stuff, uh, which is interesting. These are made by Mondelez International, which makes a lot of your confectionery and that kind of stuff. Uh, there's your list of ingredients. It's not a huge list, really. Um, it's mostly sugar. And is there anything else on here that we really need to know? No, no, I don't think so. Uh, is this is this an import? Do, do, do. No, Birmingham. It's from Birmingham. So there you go. Uh, so we'll go through our nutritional information then. Uh, we've got a pear bar, so that's handy. Uh, so. Be treat wise, each 28 grams per bar, uh, 152 calories, it's about normal for a chocolate bar, fat 8.9 grams, 13% of your daily, that's that's okay, uh, saturates 4.6 grams, so it's almost a quarter of your saturated fat, so that's pretty bad, I guess it's made with condensed milk and uh, sugar, so that's not a surprise, uh, 17 grams of sugar, that's 19%, and then salt, 0 0.24 grams, 4%, so not really any salt in it. All right, I really want to try this. What's Coco Life? Does anyone know what Coco Life is? Does it say on here? Coco Life? Doesn't say. Milk chocolate contains milk solids, 14% minimum, and cocoa solids, 30% minimum. All right, open the big pack and get an individual one out. See what it looks like. I'll try to do this without breaking them uh, or making too much of a mess of the packaging, which I'm going to have to be one or the other, I think. I'm going to have to either ruin the packaging or ruin the bars. I'll ruin the packaging and get one dime latte out. There you go. Individual dime latte bar. Looks nice. Multi pack bar, not for resale. Okay, right. Let's. Uh, Let's this bad boy open. Give it a give it the old sniff test. There you go. Looks like a dime bar. Ooh, that has a really strong coffee smell. Wow. Mmm. You can really smell the coffee in that bad boy. 
but can you taste the coffee or will it just taste like chocolate so let's do it then this is the dime caramel latte limited edition let's give it the old taste test Well, that's interesting. That is interesting. Wow. It's weird. That is really weird. <laughs> so, it's obviously chocolatey. Feel the chocolatiness in there. Got a lovely crunch from the caramel bit in the center. I absolutely love that. And it's nice and sweet. The main flavor is definitely coffee. I mean, it tastes like how a coffee, a coffee, a cup of coffee tastes. It's, um, it's odd. It's, it really does taste very, very coffee. When I think of coffee flavoured things, I don't think of the bitterness of coffee. I feel like when you get coffee flavoured things, you normally get the, um, you get the sort of flavour of coffee, but without the bitterness of coffee, because coffee is quite bitter. But this maintains the bitterness, which is, um, interesting, to say the least. I mean, it's partly balanced out by all the sugar um, and the creaminess of the chocolate. But you still get that, that bitterness. You know, you get that sort of bitterness on the back of your tongue, like almost hovering above it. I don't know how, you, I don't know how to describe it. You, you'll know what I mean if you drink coffee or if you eat this yourself. But It's funny because I feel like the more I eat it, the less coffee I'm tasting. It's weird. It's almost like the more you, maybe your tongue acclimatizes to it or something. I don't know. Like you get used to the coffee, the bitterness. Hmm. That is a weird one. Um, to be honest, I don't really know what to think of that. Um, as far as being a dime bar goes, that's lovely. It's got the lovely crunch, the creaminess of the chocolate on top there. Caramel flavor. That hint of coffee is strange. It's, um, it's nice. Is it nice? I don't know if it's nice. I really can't decide. It's, it's odd. I feel like when I first started eating it, you could really taste the coffee. It was really bitter. You get the real bitterness of the coffee. But the more I ate it, I guess maybe it's because there's, I'm getting more cream, more... Uh, more milkiness, more sugar, and that, as you're eating it, it cancels the coffee out. Uh, that's odd. It sort of cancels out the coffee as you go. By the time I got to the end, you can still taste the coffee a little bit, but it's mostly gone away. It mostly just tastes like chocolate. Um, it's not like that. It's not like mint, which had a really strong, strong uh, flavour that carried through. So, I reckon if I eat another one right now, I, I, I would barely taste the coffee. It mostly just tastes like a dime bar. So, it's weird. It's weird. Biology? Is that how biology works? I don't know. That was a strange... Oh, a strange one. Um, would I have it again? Mm, probably not. I mean, I'll eat these, because I've got them now. Uh, but would I buy them again? No, I, mean, I wouldn't buy them over an ordinary dime. Or the orange dime. I like the orange one. Um, 
So yeah, I, I would just, uh, yeah. Mm. yeah, I'm not fussed for them, to be honest, not bothered. The caramel latte, the latte, the coffee flavour kind of dies out partway through. And if I think if you're not a big coffee drinker, then you probably you probably wouldn't like it. Um, but yeah, strange. Bitter, bitter coffee taste taste to begin with, but that goes away the more you eat it. Well, there you go. That's a review, I guess. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications anytime a new video comes out. And uh, just let me know, have you tried this mad caramel latte dime? Do you like other chocolate? What do you want me to review next? Leave a wee comment, let me know. And I will catch you in the next video. See you then.